Hi there, let's take a look at the differences between schijnen, lijken and blijken. Hmm, what do they seem like? Well, uh, lijken and blijken, it has to do with appearances. And let's take directly an example here. Uh, hij schijnt een vriendelijke buur te zijn. He seems to be a friendly neighbor, or he seems to be a, a nice neighbor. You can also say, hij lijkt een vriendelijke buur te zijn, or hij blijkt een vriendelijke buur te zijn. As you can see, there are three choices here. And when do you use lijken, blijken, and when do you use schijnen? Well, schijnen and lijken are both translated as to seem and blijken appear to be. So, uh, but when you're using schijnen, hij schijnt een vriendelijke buur te zijn, he seems to be a nice neighbor, well, then it means that you've heard this from other people. It's not from your own experience. You didn't see the neighbor yet, but he seems to be a nice neighbor. And then you're going to use hij schijnt een vriendelijke buur te zijn. When do you use lijken then? Hij lijkt een vriendelijke buur te zijn. When you're watching the neighbor and you see, oh, he's talking with my other neighbors. Hmm, well, I, from my own perception, I can see that he seems to be a nice neighbor. And then we're going to use lijken. So schijnen is for the perception of others. Lijken is for your own perception. And what does blijken mean then? Ha, well, blijken is more appears to be. When you're sure about something. Uh, lijken and schijnen is when you're not sure. It's your perception. You're, hmm, you're doubting what you're seeing. You're, you're not sure, but it seems to be a nice neighbor. And blijken is when you know it's a nice neighbor. When you've talked with your neighbor and you had a nice chat and, you know, it was, it appeared to be a nice neighbor. You had some experience, personal or experience, or it could also be that uh, other neighbors talk to him and he really is a nice neighbor. It doesn't depend on whether it's your own experience or other people's experience. It appears to be a nice neighbor. It has been tested. And, uh, you know, uh, they, they've tested him if he was a nice neighbor or not. And from the experience, it appears to be a nice uh, neighbor. Let's also take a look at the construction. Uh, Hij schijnt een vriendelijke buur te zijn. Uh, if you have a verb there, you have to uh, put it behind the te. Uh, so, te zijn. And zijn is a verb, so you put the zijn after the te. And the rest in front of the te. Alright, let's take another example. Um, die collega blijkt te vertrekken, of die collega schijnt, of die collega lijkt te vertrekken. Die collega schijnt te vertrekken. It seems like the colleague is leaving. And it means that you've heard from your other colleagues, huh, well, he might be leaving. We're not sure, but he seems to be leaving. And then you're using schijnt te vertrekken. Hij lijkt te vertrekken is when you're seeing your colleague and you're like, ah, hmm, looks like he's leaving, my colleague, or look like, uh, looks like she's leaving. Uh, and then from your own ex experience, from your own perception, you can see, ah, uh, he seems or she seems to be leaving. Then you're going to use, hij lijkt te vertrekken, of die collega lijkt te vertrekken. Hij blijkt te vertrekken. Then you're sure. Your colleague is leaving. Uh, it could be leaving the company, like, like uh, going somewhere else. But uh, he really is leaving. We've, we've seen the mail 
um, or the colleague has told you uh, himself to you, uh, I'm leaving. Then he blijkt te vertrekken because we're sure that he is leaving. All right, uh, three more uh, pointers here. When you're starting a sentence with uit onderzoek, from research, for example, uit onderzoek blijkt dat die producten ongezond zijn. From research, the uh, products seem to be or appear to be um, unhealthy. Then you're always going to use blijken because you have experience, you have your research uit onderzoek. All right, that's point number one. Point number two, schijnen can also mean something else. De zon schijnt in mijn ogen. The sun is shining in my eyes. Like, oh, oh, oh God, the sun is shining in my eyes. Not a nice thing. Uh, but schijnen can also mean to shine. And lijken with the preposition op, for example, hij lijkt op zijn vader, means to look like something or look like someone else. So in this case, he looks like his father. So there are some other uses to lijken and schijnen. So remember, uh, lijken from your own perception, something you're not sure of, schijnen from other people's perception, like gossip, uh, and they're not sure, and blijken is when you're sure, uh, when it, something appears to be true uh, from your own perception or from other people's perception. This question was asked by BG. If you have uh, other um, questions, feel free to write them in the comments as uh, BG uh, did. Tot ziens!